where books matter. It's terrific. Hello, everybody. Today is one of those days I get to open some cool stuff. So recently I did a video, Sun Tup Edition's new numbered edition of Replay by Ken Grimwood. And I was so excited and so pleased with that book. It came out extremely well. Before doing this one, I shot a video of a book that I'd got in the mail from Centipede Press, another publisher that I do truly love. Now that book was amazing, but it got dinged. It took a shot at some point in time before I got it out of the package. I filmed the video. It's all there. I don't think I'm going to post it. I sent an email right away to Jared at Centipede Press and instantly, within minutes, he apologized, said he's got one coming my way. In fact, the guy even said, keep the old one, because in the email I said I'd like to ask if I could return it for a new one. He said, keep it. I'm getting you one coming out. So Jared's the man. He's awesome. Thank you. But I'm not going to post that video. Why bother? When I get the new one in the mail, I'll post the new one in the mail. I might put up a little picture or something of the dings from the original. Why not? I got it. Anyway, that one looks good. I'm excited to get a perfect version of that book. But what I'm here right now to talk about is something similar. Bridging the two gaps of the two videos. Sunt Up Editions. The Haunting of Hill House, wham! A book that I've been missing in my Sun Tup Numbered Editions collection for a while. I don't have them all, but uh, there's some that I figured I had to have. One of them that I was missing will go somewhere in here. And a man with four names. Yep, I went and bought a book from a man with four names. I, the man with four names hooked me up with his numbered edition of The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. And here it is. Let's open it up. Let's take a see, see what she looked like. I can't wait because this seems like it was one heck of a numbered edition, numbered edition production by Sun Tup Editions. And they all are nice productions, but this one at least by looking at it, seeing the pictures, watching whatever videos I could find, it looks like this would be what you might call a book among books, a production among productions, a production and a half, one might say. But anyway, the man of four names said, hey, yo, he didn't actually say, hey, yo, but he said, look, I'm sending it to you in the original box. And I said, nice, because that means more than likely when this book shows up, it will be in the shape it was in when the man with four names sent it to me. You got the foam, and this is a thin piece of foam. Most of them that we get from Sun Tup Editions is a little thicker, but it uh, it served well in this case. I hope. We'll see. I went through the package after I was done, and I found out it wasn't thin foam that they put on top. It was just a repackaged book. So the, the book originally came with two thin pieces of foam, and then the outer shell, in which the book sits within, protecting it on all sides. And then the thick piece of foam sat on top, sits on top, normally when you package it. And in this case, it was just a repacked book. So the foam's the same as I come to expect, if that matters to anybody. Let's get this deal out of this box. Wrapped in a bubble mailer inside of the cushion box from Sun Tup Editions. Let's open it up and take a look. All right, so there, there was, the way I understand it, and I wasn't around paying attention when Sun Tup Editions started selling these books. But the way I understand it was that originally when Sun Tup Editions came out with this design, and it is a sweet, sweet design. A slip case with a wood grain paper covering, a leather label with foil inlays, and this cast iron keyhole looking escutcheon that's kind of inlaid into the slip case, it created a problem. And the problem is, let's put it right, like you would see it on my shelf. When I set a book next to this, what's gonna happen? That escutcheon 
excuse, excruciation, whatever it's called, that excussion is going to rub on my next book that's going right beside it. So you can either separate your books out, which you may do anyway, or do what Sun Tup Editions decided to do, which is give you a buffer, something that acts to serve, to protect that next book over, that also would protect this escutcheon from being knocked off. I'm sure it's just glued on there and all that kind of stuff. So that's good idea, good thinking. Now let's take a look. I showed you my slip case, which is sweet. It's beautiful, I love it. And for those of you who like to put your books on the shelf the wrong way, sorry. Hey, sorry. Sorry about your luck. Just kidding. Anyway, it doesn't say anything on the back. But when we look at the spine of this book, we got a quarter bound Japanese cloth spine. You've got a, a leather label with gold foil stamping on it. it. Says the Haunting of Hill House, Shirley Jackson. And it does look nice. So let's get it out of the slipcase and set this beauty to the side for a moment and look at our book here itself. So Japanese silk spine, quarter bound, and then you've got embossed paper cover. And you can see it's die cut. If we open this up, you can look at sort of at an angle. You see paper under there, paper under there. See the end papers? If I was to be careless, I could jab right through there and poke a hole in the end papers. That's how it goes. But that's die cut. I guess you can perhaps tell. Anyway, it's such a cool, excellent, sweet design. There is our Smith's own binding, if you can see that. I don't know if you can or if you can't. The paper, I think this was printed offset on Mohawk. This book has artwork from Stephen Gervais and it's described as black and white pencil drawings. So let's see an example of such work. It almost looks real. It almost looks like I'm taking a look at a black and white picture. Unbelievable. I really like it. And there is a full page color illustration in here somewhere and we'll see if we can find that as well. This one has an introduction by Ruth Franklin, and it's limited to 185 copies. So let's take the step right now, the step I usually take, jump right on ahead to the limitation page and see what number I got. Let's look at the signatures and all that stuff. So this one is copy number 76. Can you see that? Copy number 76, and it's signed by the artist Stephen Gervais and by Ruth Franklin who does the introduction that was original to this book. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at some of this artwork here. This is one of the books, the Sun Tup Edition books that I've been wanting for a long time. The price is usually a little bit too high for me, and uh, why not? It's an iconic novel, and it's a highly limited novel, and it is probably the definitive version of the novel. More artwork. Unbelievable. Looks so good. And I've, I've shown you a few different versions of this. And to me, this is it. This is the one. And that, there are some that I don't have and never will, so I can't compare. But of the, the versions of The Haunting of Hill House that I've had, that I've held, that I've seen and looked at in detail, this was the one that I really wanted. There's some more of our artwork. Just beautiful. The, the description, black and white pencil drawings, doesn't make, this, doesn't make it sound like anything special. And I, quite frankly, when I read that, I thought, oh, the artwork's not very good, I guess. But this, this is phenomenal. And there's the color illustration that I was probably referring to. Beautiful. Beautiful artwork. And that goes to show you, sometimes you don't know what you don't know and man this stuff is good but i absolutely love the artwork in this book and for a lot of you who want to know what 
the typeset, what the font, what it looks like when you're going to be reading it, that's what you're going to see. And uh, not only is it a beautiful typeset, but it's kind of medium in size. Not big, not small. That's where we'll put it. This copy is not for reading for me. I don't read my most expensive books. I like to preserve them. And I like to read with careless abandon when I read books. I don't want to have to worry about sweaty hands, dirty fingers, sticking it in a bag and getting it busted up, uh, setting it on the seat in the vehicle and it slides off because you have to take a hard break or something like that or a kid gets in and moves it out of the way. I don't want to say, yay, my book! I just want to... I just want to read that thing and move on about my life. So the limited edition collector in me and the reader in me often overlap by subject matter, but they often don't overlap in actual physical copies of the book. And this artwork is phenomenal. And like I said, I've seen some versions of this book. I've got some versions of this book. And this artwork here makes me feel more like the book. And probably because my first exposure to this story was a black and white movie called The Haunting. And this artwork here feels a lot like that movie. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's that. And here we have some sketches, uh, Shirley Jackson's sketches of the house included in here also. And just another neat touch added to an extremely classy edition and the end papers on the back are the same so uh in a nutshell thank you to the man with four names for getting me the book thank you to sun top editions for producing such a fine production and posthumously thank you shirley jackson for writing a timeless iconic story that people are still talking about and probably will still be talking about as long as people are still talking that's all I can think of. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. If, you, if, you, if you're interested, please subscribe to the channel. I thank you. That's all the lies I can think of to tell. So say la vie, baby. <laughs> Did it. Hey, I owe you and sometimes why. Because I told you so.